Good day everyone, I'm Ella, and today I'm going to be sharing my thoughts on David Armsby's animated Dinosauria series. I won't discuss specifics like accuracy of certain animals, those videos will come later, but broader points to give you an idea of this series. Quick disclaimer, I know that this is meant to be more of a stylized view of these dinosaurs, and not a strictly inaccurate documentary, but a lot is done well, especially the creature design, so I thought I'd have a look at it anyway. If you do enjoy, don't forget to like and subscribe, and without any further ado, let's dig into it. The Dinosauria Animated Series is a five-part show that aired on YouTube over the course of ten months, starting in September of 2021 and the final episode being released in June 2022. It is set in the late Cretaceous and doesn't feature any narration, only the sound effects and music. It was written, animated and produced by the YouTube channel Dead Sound, run by David James Armsby. It is animated in 3D and textured to seem two-dimensional, which creates a very unique look. The animals are stylized yet accurate, and the environments are beautifully drawn. Each episode has its own colour scheme, like with pinks and greys in episode 1, colder colours like white and blue in the second episode, a very colourful third episode, greys in the fourth, and browns and black in the final episode. Many animals receive their first proper appearance in a nature documentary, such as Geostombergia, Nanoxaurus, and Lambiosaurus. The animation is done amazingly, with realistic movement and the sound design is really good too. The creature design is top notch, and most, if not all of the models rival higher budget productions in design. The music is, as far as I could tell, completely original, and it sets the tone perfectly with calm music when it is a more relaxed segment, and swelling orchestral music with triumphant moments. The sound design as a whole is great, with David incorporating his own voice in most of the calls and vocalizations of the animals in a believable way. The behaviors shown are accurate too for the most part. The whole series is highly speculative with some things being on the theoretical side, but the interactions between animals is very believable. Animals that hug each other are super cute, most animals bond through physical contact, so why not dinosaurs? Animals defend their eggs and offspring as they would, and nothing feels forced or unrealistic. Accuracy-wise, the show does pretty well too. Almost every design is based off of some kind of special fossil, such as an asymmetrical frill on Styracosaurus or a healed bite mark on Edmontosaurus. All the right animals have feathers, and almost every dinosaur has lips. Every terrestrial reptile with teeth today has lips, so it's likely that dinosaurs would have them as well. All the animals have a good amount of soft tissue as well, they all look well fed. In many documentaries, animals are shrink-wrapped, with skin fitting tightly over the bone, and almost every time they look malnourished. So, in conclusion, I highly recommend this show. It's freely available on YouTube, and the link is in the description. The Dinosauria Animator series is a well-crafted piece of paleo media that I hope you all care to watch. For further information on the show, David Almsby has posted a making of video for each episode. Thank you all for watching this video. If you enjoyed, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!